Please rise to greet our wedding party.
Catherine and John, the church shares your joy and warmly welcomes you together with your family and friends. As today in the presence of God our Father, you establish between yourselves a lifelong partnership. May the Lord hear you on this your joyful day. May he send you help from heaven and protect you. May he grant you your heart's desire and fulfill every one of your prayers. Let us give glory to God as we begin this marriage. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to a people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. Let us pray. O God, who in creating the human race will that man and woman should be one, join, we pray, in a bond of inseparable love these your servants who are to be united in the covenant of marriage, so that as you make their love fruitful, they may become by your grace witnesses to charity itself. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever, amen. Please be seated to hear God's holy word. Lectura del libro de Sirácides. Feliz el marido de una buena mujer, el número de sus días se duplicará. Una mujer valiente es la alegría de su marido, pasará en paz todos los años de su vida. Una mujer buena es don excelente, reservada para el que teme al Señor. Rico o pobre, su corazón es dichoso. Nuestra siempre alegría el rostro. La gracia de la esposa hace la alegría de su marido y su saber es reconfortante para él. Una mujer honesta es el favor entre los favores. La que es casta es de inestimable valor. Como el sol marital sobre los cerros del Señor, así es el encanto de una mujer buena en una casa bien ordenada. Palabra de Dios. Karen.
be the nation whose God is the Lord. The people he has chosen for his own inheritance. But see, the eyes of the Lord are upon those who fear him, upon those who hope for his kindness. The earth is full of the goodness of the Lord. Our soul waits for the Lord, who is our help and our shield. rejoice in his holy name we trust the earth is full of the goodness of the Lord may your kindness O Lord be upon us who have put our A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Ephesians. Brothers and sisters, live in love as Christ loved us and handed himself over for us. Husbands, love your wives, even as Christ loved the church and handed himself over for her to sanctify her, cleansing her by the bath of the water with the word, that he might present to himself the church in splendor, without spot or wrinkle or any such thing that she might be holy and without blemish. So also husbands should love their wives as their own bodies. He who loves his wife loves himself. For no one hates his own flesh, but rather nourishes it and cherishes it, even as Christ does the church, because we are members of his body. For this reason, a man shall leave his father and his mother and be joined to his wife, and the two shall become one flesh. This is a great mystery, but I speak in reference to Christ and the Church. The word of the Lord. Please rise. Let me find out what happened. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, Lord. There was a wedding in Cana in Galilee, and the mother of Jesus was there. Jesus and his disciples were also invited to the wedding. When the wine ran short, the mother of Jesus said to him, they have no wine. And Jesus said to her, woman, how does your concern affect me? My hour has not yet come. His mother said to the servers, do whatever he tells you. Now there were six stone water jars there for Jewish ceremonial washings, 
each holding 20 to 30 gallons. Jesus told them, fill the jars with water. So they filled them to the brim. Then he told them, draw some out now and take it to the head waiter. So they took it. When the head waiter tasted the water that had become wine without knowing where it came from, although the servants who had drawn the water knew, the head waiter called the bridegroom and said to him, everyone serves good wine first. And then when people have drunk freely an inferior one, but you have kept the good wine until now. Jesus did this at the beginning of his signs in Cana in Galilee, and so revealed his glory. And his disciples began to believe in him. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. During this difficult time in the history of the world, it's a great tribute and a great uh, mark of honor uh, that two people persevered in making sure that their wedding day was very, very special. Uh, we all know the uh, difficulty in scheduling things. We know uh, the sadness of not being able to have things done the way we want them to be done. Uh, and yet, on top of everything, the day will finally come, and it finally has come for John and Catherine to promise before God and before all of you who are their family and their friends that they will love each other and honor each other uh, as husband and wife for the rest of their lives. Uh, isn't that a great thing? It's a beautiful and powerful testimony to the love that they have for each other, something that they discovered and something that has grown in them. And we hope and pray that that same love will grow stronger and richer, not only today and tomorrow, but for the rest of their lives. Uh, a wedding day is hugely important for everybody who gets married, but much more important is what happens after. And the love that they have, we, pr we pray, will grow in them so that many years from now they can look back and say, I love you so much on that day in July, but boy, do I love you more. And that's our prayer for John and for Catherine. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. This is going to be better. Okay. Catherine and John, you have come together into the house of the church so that in the presence of the church's minister and the community, your intention to enter into marriage may be strengthened by the Lord with a sacred seal. Christ abundantly blesses the love that binds you. Through a special sacrament, he enriches and strengthens those he has already consecrated by holy baptism, that they may be faithful to each other forever and assume all the responsibility of married life. And so in the presence of the church, I ask you to state your intentions. Catherine and John, have you come here to enter into marriage without coercion, freely and wholeheartedly? Are you prepared as you follow the path of marriage to love and honor each other for as long as you both shall live? I am. I am. Are you prepared to accept children lovingly from God and to bring them up according to the law of Christ and his church? Since it is your intention to enter the covenant of holy matrimony, turn to each other, hold each other's hands, and declare your consent before God and his people. I, John, take you, Catherine, to be my wife. I promise to be faithful to you in good times and in bad, in sickness and in health, to love you and to honor you all the days of my life. I, Catherine, I, Catherine. Take, you, John, take you, John, 
to be my husband. I promise to be faithful to you in good times and in bad, in sickness and in health, to love you and to honor you all the days of my life. Just turn to me. May the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, the God of Jacob, the God who joined together our first parents in paradise, strengthen and bless in Christ the consent you have declared before God's people so that what God joins together, no one may put asunder. Amen. May the Lord bless these rings, which you will give to each other as a sign of love and fidelity. Amen. Turn. Left hand. Catherine, receive this ring as a sign of my love and fidelity. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Captain, you say amen. John, receive this ring as a sign of my love and fidelity. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Just turn to me. John, stay there. You didn't practice this, but. <clears throat> Bless, O oh Lord, these aras that John and Catherine will give to each other and pour over them the abundance of your good gifts. to me as you pour them in. Catherine, Catherine. pour them out. All right. Oops. Receive these aras as a pledge of God's blessing and a sign of the good gifts we will share. Amen. All right. and you're going to pour them in, into his hand. And you're going to say, John, Receive these, Receive these aras as a sign of God's blessing and a sign of the good gifts we will share. Amen. And now the gifts will be brought forward by the fathers of the bride and groom.
My sisters and brothers, pray that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept his sacrifice at our hands, the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Please rise. Receive, we pray, O Lord, the offerings made on this occasion of this sealing of the sacred bond of marriage. And just as your goodness is its origin, may your providence guide its course through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, for you have forged the covenant of marriage as a sweet yoke of harmony and an unbreakable bond of peace, so that the chaste and fruitful love of holy matrimony may serve to increase the children you adopt as your own. By your providence and grace, O Lord, you accomplish the wonder of this twofold design, that while the birth of children brings beauty to the world, their rebirth in baptism gives increase to the church through Christ our Lord. Through him with the angels and all the saints, we sing the hymn of your praise as without end we acclaim. Indeed, holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness, make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. The time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. Once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith. For as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, 
and Timothy, our bishop, and all the clergy. Be mindful also, Lord, of Catherine and John, whom you have brought to their wedding day, so that by your grace they may abide in mutual love and peace. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, O glory and honor is yours forever and ever. rise and we join together in praying the prayer that Jesus taught us. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. A special blessing for our bride and groom. Bow your heads. O God, who by your mighty power created all things out of nothing, and when you had set in place the beginnings of the universe, formed man and woman in your own image, making them inseparable helpmates to each other, that they might no longer be two but one flesh, and taught that what you were pleased to make one must never be divided. Look now with favor on these your servants joined together in marriage, who ask to be strengthened by your blessing. Send down on them the grace of the Holy Spirit, pour your love into their hearts, that they may remain faithful in the marriage covenant. May the grace of love and peace abide in your daughter, Catherine, and let her always follow the example of those holy women whose praises are sung in the scriptures. May John, her husband, entrust his heart to her, so that acknowledging her as his equal in all things and his joint heir to the life of grace, he may show her due honor and cherish her always with the love that Christ has for his church. And now, Lord, we implore you, may these your servants hold fast to the faith, keep your commandments. Made one in the flesh, may they be blameless in all they do. And with the strength that comes from the gospel, may they bear true witness to Christ before all. May they be blessed with children and prove themselves virtuous parents who live to see their children's children. And grant that reaching at last together the fullness of years for which they hope, they may come to the life of the blessed in the kingdom of heaven through Christ our Lord. Amen. the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter into my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. After the bride and groom receive Holy Communion, those who are receiving Holy Communion may come to the front. 
Uh, otherwise, please be seated.
Having been made partakers at your table, we pray, O Lord, that those who are united by the sacrament of marriage may always hold fast to you and proclaim your name to the world through Christ our Lord. Amen. Catherine and John, may God the Eternal Father keep you of one heart in love for one another, that the peace of Christ may dwell in you and abide always in your home. Amen. May you be blessed in your children, have solace in your friends, and enjoy true peace with everyone. Amen. May you be witnesses in the world to God's charity so that the afflicted and needy who have known your kindness may one day receive you thankfully into the eternal dwelling of God. Amen. And may Almighty God bless you and all here in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.